Greetings everyone. Uh, Susan Kwanya speaking, the CEO of HXF and also a student at my local University of Technology. I'll be sharing with you how to install your C18 uh, compilers all right, to your quarters. Uh, all right, so I'll be showing you how to download them because uh, getting them is it's very difficult. So I've managed to get them. All right, so that's why I'm sharing this with you so that you can be able to install them. All right, so what I will do after this video, I will upload a file on my website, you know, which you can use to download the, 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 the Protoss Pro and also the compilers, all right? So all, all the compilers you will need, the MPLAB compilers, that, that, will, that, that will, you'll be needing for digital systems and probably software design. All right, so uh what you will do all right so you'll tap on google all right process hxf then you'll press search all right on the on the search results all right you'll go here all right on hxf all right and you can click it will take you straight to the site all right on which you can download all right you can download photos and you can also download the, the libraries and uh, MPLAB compilers. So once you have downloaded it, the, the file, all right, that will be the file on your computer, all right. So you will open the file and you will install, all right. So you will install MPLAB 30 and then MPLAB 32, then you will go to MPLAB C118, which, which is the one we, we want most on our computers all right so i will do one example with mplab c32 uh in which you, in c that you'll be doing the same thing all right so you just accept the installation all right it's loading it's loading it's loading i to wait for it to load there it's showing mplab certified all right so it's starting it's starting right now I just, I just want you to see how the password uh, gets installed. I right, accept the agreements. Okay, it's under microchip. Okay, so it's installing. Okay, it's finished. It didn't. It didn't ask me for the license key. You see, I was waiting for those parts. All right. Maybe the problem is that I've already installed the license key. You see, maybe it it will ask you for a license key. Okay. Then once it's asked you for a license key, you'll go here. All right. So you copy this key for the MPLAB C thirty. Uh, for the MPLAB. C32, you list this key. All right, you just type it. You see on your computer. All right, uh, let me just close this. All right, so it's just that, guys. All right, now we're looking at the MPLAB C118. All right, which you will be using in the lab for digits. All right, uh, so I'm sharing this with you so that it will be easy for you to practice and to get to understand uh, C language uh, with, with, with using the macro processors all right so i'm going on this folder all right so what you will do let me just let me just see what's happening here all right what you will do all right the first thing for you to do you will just copy this this file mplab c118 all right you just copy then you'll go to this pc all right let me just go to this pc then you go to here local disk all right or if you do this you can also click here to go to local disk all right i'm out of space actually all right it's fine it's fine all right so let me just click here instead so you will go to program files x86 right, i'm sure this was too fast i, I clicked here on program files x 
86. Some computers will have x64 and some will have x34. So it will depend on your Windows program or software that you'll be using at that time. So let's click there. All right, then after that, you look for microchip. All right, because it's a microchip program. Where is it? There's it here, microchip. All right, you click there on microchip. All right, then you will paste the file. All right, so you will paste, but I've already pasted since here. But what you will do, you will paste the file. All right, on this, on, on, on this folder. All right, so you just paste it here. Then it will appear here. Too. So it will copy. Then it will appear here. Then after that, all right, you can close from here. All right. So let me just close this because I've explained what I wanted to explain. All right. Then you will open your you'll open your process. All right, professional software. All right. So I will open it from here. Okay. All right, so you will open projects. Oh, sorry, new project. Sorry, new projects. We'll call new projects. All right, so I'll, I'll type anything. You can type anything depending on what you want to call the project. I'll call it HXF. All right, I'll call the project HXF. And press next. Next, all right. So I'm just, I'm just, I'm just interested in showing. So we're creating a firmware project. So we press on create a firmware project, and you will type, you you will select pick one eight. All right, all right. So day sixty four. All right. So we 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 twenty four. We install this in sixteen, but we're looking at pick one eight. All right. Then we'll say let's pick one eight, but it will depend which one or we want. All right, but for study purposes, we we using pick one eight, f four five eight. Okay, I'm I'm being, I'm being so slow. All right, this is yeah. All right, you see. On your computer, it will show not configured. Yeah, all right, it will show that not configured because you have not configured it to work with the portals. So what you will do. If it shows that you, you go on compilers, then you will go to MPLAB C one eighteen. All right, so I've already added mine. All right, so it will show yes, but if 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 you've not if you've not added, it will show go to the website. All right, so mine is already there, but I just want to show you the step. So you go to manual. All right. It's just low today. I don't know why. Uh, I was a bit busy today. Okay, so we here. So we we we'll, we'll go on local disk, and uh, we'll go on the same process where 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 we have pasted the compilers. All right. So we'll, we'll go to program eighty six. Uh, microchip. Then C18. What did I do? Okay, from here, you'll say select folder. Alright, then it will be like that. Alright. Uh, yeah. I think I made a mistake. So, once we here, all right, you go on compilers. Okay. You will you will select MPLAB C one eighteen. Then you will press on manual. And then you will go to local disk again. Program x six. So. I think everyone knows this, the steps I'm doing right now. Uh, most of us actually. Then you go to MPLAB C one eighteen, the folder that we've just pasted, alright. Then you 
press on fee and on the version v3.47 then you will select folder all right then you will press ok all right then after pressing ok all right then, then you press, but i've already pressed i can just press for this then it will not it will no longer show not configured then you can press next all right then you can finish all right then it will go straight to your microprocessor all right so that's it that's the end of the video guys so thank you so much for watching and for taking your time have a good day god bless you